Since the start of Guatemala's guerrilla war 35 years ago, the majority population of Mayan Indians will have representation at this weekend's elections. A new party has been formed in the Latin American state to give a voice to Guatemalans who have traditionally not dared to oppose the government. A Nobel Peace Prize winner and activist Rigoberta Menchu has returned to her country to convince the Mayans that voting is their best chance for change. But as Victoria Bridges reports from Guatemala, there's still a real fear of speaking out amongst those who oppose the government. Mayan Indians make up 60% of the population of Guatemala. But until recently, they weren't even allowed to hold these festivals in their sacred sites. Mayans are still the victims of an unofficial apartheid. 65% of this fertile countryside is owned by an elite 2%. The huge gulf between rich and poor has given rise to Latin America's longest running and dirtiest guerrilla war. More than 100,000 civilians have been killed by the ruling military regimes in the last 35 years. Most of them are Mayans who live in the countryside and are seen to be the support base for the guerrillas. On the shores of Lake Atitlan in central Guatemala, one community has lost nearly 2,000 people. That's out of a population of only 30,000. Many of them have simply been disappeared. In 1990, in the same community, 13 villagers, some children, were massacred by the army. The crime remains unpunished. The past 30 years of violence has left most Guatemalans terrified to speak out. That fear, combined with a lack of representation in government, meant that in the last congressional elections, only 15% of them turned out to vote. But there are changes in the air. Opponents of the regime have, for the past 35 years, abstained from voting. But now the government is on the brink of signing peace with the guerrillas, and this atmosphere of reconciliation has given rise to new parties. Ninette Montenegro is a congressional candidate for the new FDNG party. It hopes to represent those Guatemalans who've never had a voice in parliament. In the year 2000, it will be very difficult. I don't think there is an opportunity so grande como la de ahora en el cual se están discutiendo acuerdos de Estado o compromisos de Estado de cara al proceso de negociaciones para la paz. Many Guatemalans are encouraged by a new level of international attention. The U.S., which has for years covertly supported Guatemala's military, is now openly criticizing them for their human rights record. And the country is now under the watchful eye of the U.N., they're here to oversee the current peace negotiations between the government and the guerrillas. Estamos haciendo un acto que es un acto muy importante. Queremos cambiar una mentalidad, una manera de vivir. Y sabemos que va a llevar mucho tiempo. Hay veces que estamos desanimados porque queremos resultados inmediatos. The government professes to back these structural and political changes. Yo, como ministro de la Defensa Nacional, siempre he creído que debe de haber una apertura ideológica, una participación pluralista en Guatemala. Shortly after this interview, 11 returning refugees were murdered by the army. This time, the Minister of Defense felt compelled to resign. It's believed that for things to really change, the majority Mayan population must vote at the weekend. But previous disappointments mean they have little faith in the electoral process. One woman is trying to change all that. Nobel Peace Prize winner Rigoberta Menchu has just returned from exile and is traveling the countryside to convince the Mayans to vote. Herself a Mayan Indian, she is trusted by her people. Yo tengo mucha esperanza, no solo esperanza, sino creo que hay realidades muy concretos 
que el pueblo maya no es un pueblo pasivo, no es un pueblo el más sufrido, no es el pueblo más lesionada o más golpeada. El pueblo maya tiene alternativas. But only a few days ago, Rigoberta's two-year-old nephew was kidnapped at gunpoint, forcing her to cut short her campaign. So although the opposition will be represented in this weekend's elections, there's still a long way to go before real democracy reaches the Mayan people of Guatemala.